The Zohar Project? Right. The situation is grave. The Gnosis phenomenon is spreading at an ever-increasing rate. More than 120 star systems have already been eradicated, a fact that's been difficult to keep secret thus far. Worst case scenario projections indicate that if this continues, humanity will only have a few years before it's completely wiped out by the Gnosis. Yes, I understand that. Thank you. But tell me how this relates to Cosmos. This way. This is... This is incredible! The Cosmos Tertiary Weapon System. It was developed to prevent the worst case scenario from ever happening. And just what do you classify as worst case? The Zohar Project is a massive undertaking whose ultimate goal is to eradicate the Gnosis from the cosmos. To do this, we know we must salvage the original Zohar that's sleeping on Milsha. Our studies over the past half century have revealed the Zohar to be this dimension's ultimate energy device. But there is also a problem. The Zohar Center, or rather the core unit that controls it, is a double-edged sword. What do you mean? This. This is the phenomenon known as Udu. Beyond the initial loss of the core unit, we have no details on how it occurred. But we do know, however, that this is what made Milchin space the way it is today, and that this phenomenon is also responsible for the appearance of the Gnosis. Wait, wait a minute. Are you saying that even more Gnosis might show up? We can't be certain. But it is a definite possibility. So you're outfitting Cosmos with this. Those shoulder units, they're a phase transfer system, right? Now I see why they called you the Flower of First Division, Chief Uzuki. I didn't come here for jokes. Sorry, I'll continue. This was originally designed for use on the Archetype, but it's been refitted for use on the current Cosmos. The system radius is 130 nanometers. 130? Can you control it accurately at that scale? Yes, with the help of the Tactical Sim Lab. That's why we had Cosmos moved here. And if I refuse to turn her over? This project has been officially commissioned by the government. Being Chief of Software Development doesn't give you the right to refuse us. I imagine not. Look, I know there's a lot about Cosmos' recent activation that worries you. But rest assured, everything's gonna be fine. Headquarters has taken a good look at Cosmos activity records up to now. They firmly believe this can be done. And so do we. Everything is ready to go. I suppose the only thing I can do now is trust you. We can do this. Besides, this system was designed at First Division by none other than Kevin Winnicott himself. <gasps> Fine. We'll transfer Cosmos to the 2nd R&D Division today at 1400 hours. I'll send the paperwork along later. Please send requests for any specific needs to my personal address at 1st Division. I'll have Alan take care of the software. If there's anything you don't understand... We'll contact you. Thank you for your cooperation. For the sake of... humanity? 
Yes, you might even say that's the reason she was born. Her awakening will lead humanity toward the future. I can hardly wait until that time comes. This transport is part of Cosmos equipment too, right? A craft that can interact with hyperspace on its own without using a UMN column. Is this going to save humanity too? Hmm, in a broader sense, I suppose. It might come in handy for us someday. You'll probably laugh when you hear me say this, but I believe, no, I want to believe that she'll be more than just some wanton instrument of destruction. I hope the future that she builds will be one swept clean of our differences, an ideal world free of destruction or slaughter. <laughs> Sounds funny, doesn't it? No, no. It's just that your eyes, Kevin, they were so lit up just now that you looked like a child. I can't help it. I guess I better watch myself during the public test. Well, to be honest, I can't wait to see her wake up too. Chief! Wait up, Chief! Hey, what's wrong with you? You're acting strange today. Nothing's wrong. It's the same old me. Where are you going, then? Into the city for a bit. It's been a long time, so... A long time? Oh, right, right! Isn't your house, um... Yeah. It's an 8th district. Listen, Alan, don't take your eyes off Cosmos, okay? Uh, yeah, of course. Um, but why? There is definitely something wrong with her today. <laughs>